the Patriots beat the Jets uh, 28-14. to 14. And what I want to talk about is the news that came out saying that at, the end, at the end of the season, so now the Patriots and Cam Newton are likely going to park ways. I kind of saw it coming. Uh, you know, we've seen the struggles that the Patriots have had this year. We've seen some of the struggles that that Cam Newton has had this year. We saw the media scrutiny that both sides have had. And now what's what's next for Cam? You know, uh, I, I am adamant and I, I've been very vocal saying that a lot of these struggles that the Patriots have had is not Cam Newton's fault. Now, yes, I'm not absolving Cam Newton for how, you know, for playing bad. He has had some bad moments that that's not debatable, but I don't, I think that I think that they have, they, as in the Patriots has not, has not given Cam Newton the best opportunity to succeed as far as putting talent around him, some of the coaching decisions, uh, it, I just don't think that you've put him in the best opportunity. You know, you haven't really made get, made it easy for him to to succeed. So, what's next for Cam Newton? Uh, where does what what where does Cam Newton go from here? I think I think that I don't I don't know if he'll you know. Let me say this: What does Cam Newton need? Let's say what let's let's talk about this. What does Cam Newton need to succeed? We've seen Cam Newton succeed. And I mean, hell, he he's he's been an MVP. He went to the Super Bowl. What does Cam Newton need to succeed? He needs at least a top receiver that can create separation, and he also needs a solid defense. So where where can I see Cam Newton going where he can succeed and thrive the most next year? Well, there's a couple places. I I don't know. I I think a lot of people are throwing around the 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 Panthers. I think that that bridge is burned, seeing as though how how all the, everything ended. I think that I can really see I can see Cam Newton in Washington, and I say you have a top receiver in Terry McLaurin. Yeah, the receiver core is not the greatest, but you still have a top receiver, and you have a, another receiver who, while he isn't the greatest, he he's still serviceable, and that's Chris Sims. You have a really good running game. You have Antonio Gibson. You have. Uh, jd mckissick who can also play he's a really good uh catching tight end he also have barber and then you, you uh, a solid defense you have not solid you have a top defense in the league not the top but a top defense in the league especially the defensive line and then you have a coach that you're familiar with in ron rivera so he knows how to get the best out of you because with ron rivera that is when cam newton played his best 2015 Got the Panthers all the way to the Super Bowl, won the MVP. I can real, I can see him. Th- I can see him in Washington. I-, I can really see him. I now again, I don't think him being in Washington will win them a Super Bowl or anything, but I do think that Washington would be a really good fit for him. Another place I can see him is New Orleans. You know, a lot of people. Hell, there was a report this weekend saying that a lot of people fear feel that this is. Drew Brees last year and while you've shown that you have the utmost confidence in Taysom Hill I still think at this moment Cam Newton is better than Taysom Hill and I don't think that Jameis Winston will be there next year as you know I I think that there there's other teams that could use a starting quarterback and I think that they'll look at Jameis Winston so I can really see him with New Orleans, you know, Cam Newton throwing the ball to Michael Thomas, and you have Alvin Kamara, you have Emmanuel Sanders, you have uh, that defense that's incredible, you know, Jenkins, uh, Lattimore, you, Cameron Jordan, like you have that, that would be a perfect, to me, a perfect place for him to go as well. Um, you know, you you have, uh, I think, I think a team that, like I said, no, will know how to you one will know how to use him and have a a offensive coach or offensive coordinator that can work around him or that can not work around him, but can utilize some of his skills better. Will will definitely do do him a lot better. I think uh, the Broncos. I don't know if the Broncos are completely done with Drew Locke. 
but you know you have Judy you have some of the talent that they have and the defense is, is still really good you have Von Miller coming back next year so I can see that you know the Chargers no never mind because I don't see them moving off of Justin Justin Herbert and Cam Newton could go to the Chargers and be a backup I don't know if he wants to do that especially with Tyron Taylor and everything that happened there um I don't know I, I do think that Cam Newton is still good enough to be, even though what we saw this year, I do think that Cam Newton is still good enough to be a starting quarterback. And I do think that um, he deserves the opportunity to still be a starting quarterback for a team that utilizes him better. You know what I mean?